Okay, let's be honest. Most heating systems or automations look something like this. If it's a weekday and the time is after 6 a.m. and somebody is at home and the temperature is below X, then set the thermostat to Y. Now you have to duplicate that for weekends, for nights, for vacations, for different rooms and suddenly you have 10 automations controlling just one thermostat. Automations were never designed to be a full scheduling system for HVAC. Heating and AC need structure, visibility and easy adjustments. That's exactly the gap that Climate Scheduler fills. Climate Scheduler is a custom home assistant integration built specifically for climate entities, such as thermostats, heat pumps and HVAC systems. The core idea is simple. You just draw something instead of writing logic. It supports 24-hour scheduling, weekday versus weekend scheduling, full 7 days of schedules with 15-minute precision and multiple climate entities that you can also combine in groups. Everything is done through touch-friendly graph editor, except maybe if you try to use it on your mobile phone. Installation is refreshingly simple. Climate Scheduler supports full UI best setup. So just go to your hex, search for Climate Scheduler, click on it, click on Download, Download and install the latest version, which at the time of the recording is version 1.12.0. Of course, since this is a integration, not a front-end component, we will need to restart our Home Assistant. But also note, front-end UI is already included, no separate card is needed. Just remember to clear the front-end cache after installing it and, as I said, also restart your home assistant. Before we continue, quick clarification. For this video I am using three demo climate entities, so I can show the different real-world HVAC scenarios without messing with my actual heating. On screen you will see Ecobi style thermostat, a simple heat pump and also a full HVAC unit with cooling, fan modes and humidity. This lets us see how Climate Scheduler behaves with both simple and also complex devices. And the key point is this, if Home Assistant exposes the features, Climate Scheduler can schedule it. Let's go to Settings, Integrations, Add Integration, type in Climate and click on Climate Scheduler. Scheduler is ready to use, no additional configuration is needed. Submit. That was easy. But now comes the fun part. Let's go to the UI. Find somewhere where you want to add those cards, or these cards, or future cards. This is where the Climate Scheduler really shines. Search for the Climate Scheduler card, click on it, and this is what the card will look inside your UI. These are all the unmonitored, but as I said, I want to monitor Ecobi, Heat Pump, and also HVAC. These are three things that we will now be monitoring. I will quickly rename them, and here it is. We now have three monitor devices, and here are the unmonitored ones. We also have general settings, and we can create new group. So let's call this bedroom. Let's say that they are bedrooms, create group. And in the bedroom we can, for example, add different other devices. Let's, for example, add this one and also this one. This now has two entities. Ok, now let's go briefly through the settings. This is the default schedule, where we can move through the time and the temperature to set up, for example, first mode. Let's say that I want heating to start at 7 and it should be 22 degrees. For this node I can also set HVAC mode, heat off auto, let's put it in auto, fan mode can be auto high or auto for example, swing mode can be auto and preset mode can be comfort. For the graph settings or tooltip display we can show historical temperature or the cursor position. Minimum temperature is set to 5 and maximum is set to 30. This is for the display only. We can also auto create derivative sensors. Let's refresh entities. And as I said, this is our first node. 
let's look at this as a typical workday. So, for example, at 7 a.m. you wake up and then at, let's say, 8 a.m. you leave home and you want to set the temperature to 19 degrees. Then you most probably arrive home at 5 o'clock and at 5 o'clock you want to have, once again, let's say, 22 degrees. Then at 9 o'clock you want to lower the temperature but still not too low to, let's say, 21 degrees. And then, for example, at 23 you want to lower this back to, let's say, 16 degrees. So this is how our schedule or default schedule looks. During the night we have low temperature of 16 degrees, then we go to 22 at 7 a.m., at 8 a.m. we lower it to 19, at 5 it increases to 22, at 9 it falls to 21, and then we go to sleep. So this is our default schedule, and this is our default settings for whatever we want to set. For this one, let's say we want to turn off the heating, fan mode should be on auto low, swing should be off, and preset mode should be sleep. You can set everything for each individual node. But as I said, these are the default settings. If we look at the Ecobee, we can see that not currently it is 23 degrees at that site. Active profile is the only one we have, is default one. But we want to have difference between the workday and the weekday. For example, we want to use not all days the same schedule, but we want to use 5 slash 2, or 5 workdays will be one schedule, and on the weekend will be different schedule. So let's enable this one here, and let's start setting this for Ecobee. This will be different than default one. So for example, let's say that at 6.30 I want to set the temperature at 22 degrees. 6.15, 22 degrees. HVAC mode will go to auto, fan will be auto low, swing mode will be an auto and the preset will be home. Then we set the next setting for the weekday. At 7.45 we decrease the temperature to 19 degrees because we left home. HVAC mode will go to auto, fan mode will go to off, swing mode will go to off and the preset will change to away. Then at 5 o'clock, let's set it for example to 22.5 degrees, 5 p.m., 22, no, 23, we will lower this to 22.5, HVAC will be set to auto, fan mode will be set to auto high, swing mode will be set to auto, and preset will be home. And then, for example, at 9, we will lower to 21 degrees. And then finally, at 23, we will further lower this to, let's say, 19 degrees. With HVAC mode off, fan mode off, swing mode off, and preset set to, for example, auto. And this is how our schedule looks for the workday. But we can also press on copy, go to weekend, Press paste and we will paste the same schedule to weekend, but we will not be using the same one. So let's start. First one, let's delete this node. We want to start the heating at 9 and we want this to be at 22 degrees. We will have the heating all the way up until, let's say, 9 when the temperature will be reduced to, let's say, 20.5 degrees, and then we will leave this one on. So as you can see, you have two different schedules. And if you wish, you can copy, paste it over, undo or save. We now have two different schedules that are saved. If I want to copy this schedule to HVAC, I can do the same thing here. We can paste it, have the same schedule. We can also set that here we want to have 5-2 setup. So this is our setting for the weekday, for the weekend. If you want, you can go for individual days. Then you can set different schedule for each different day. Let me quickly paste all of them here, save it. And as I said, all the settings depend on type of the device. 
while in Echo B we had option to click on the node and set up HVAC mode, fan mode, swing mode and preset mode. For the heat pump we can only change the HVAC mode and for the full blown HVAC system we have these settings here. HVAC mode, fan mode and swing mode. So the settings depend on the type of device you are trying to control from within this integration. Here we have two real climate sensors that I will not be touching because I will die if I mess up something with heating, but let's look at them for example. As you can see these are the two real entities. This is the current room temperature. Once again we can set up the schedule for the group, same as before. We can use either schedule mode all days, weekdays versus weekends or individual days. We can create schedule profile, we can add profile, for example vacation. So now we have different profile. We can add summer, winter and then create profiles or settings for each of the systems. For example in the summer HVAC will be cooling, in the winter it will be heating and on vacation we will have different schedule where for example it maintains some kind of a comfortable temperature while still not using too much energy, either heating or cooling. So just to recap, the orange line is your scheduled target temperature. The blue line is the actual root temperature for today and the green dashed line shows the current time. So we are somewhere around here. In time, in terms of current temperature and in terms of set temperature. You can tap to add nodes as I've shown. You can also drag nodes to change either time or the temperature depending on whatever you want to change. And also to ease the move of heating periods you can just copy them and paste schedules between days. It really feels intuitive and once you use this going back to automations feels really 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 painful. Let's look at some of the other tips and tricks. For example if you are inside one of the monitor nodes or climate entities you can do further couple things. For example we already talked about copying and pasting schedule. You can advance. Advance means that it will move to the next group in the schedule node. So for example if it's now 7 am and I've set up that at 7.45 it needs to lower the temperature, clicking on advanced will advance to that step. You can also cancel advanced to cancel and return to currently set temperature. If you want to remove this from the UI you can simply click on unmonitor and it will copy or remove this device from the monitored list and move it to the list of unmonitored devices. If you want to start from scratch you can just click on the clear schedule and it will remove everything from the heat pump and you can also disable or enable this schedule by simply toggling the switch here. But now let's talk about a couple of things to be aware of. Editing the graph on the mobile app can be to say at least tricky desktop or tablet works best. Autosave can occasionally lag. Refresh it if needed. It's nothing serious, it's just good to know. And if something gets stuck, go to settings, click on refresh entities and also sync all thermostats. This can potentially fix all the issues with UI not reloading. There is also one thing you should note. This unfortunately is still not working perfectly with the sections, at least not in my case. I haven't seen a GitHub issue for it, but in my case, as you can see, I have, yeah, cut off screen. It would be awesome if this card would also be compatible with the sections, where I can create a double section, click on three dots, edit it and also do something here. But this is also something that can be easily fixed in the card itself in the future, so I hope this will be addressed. If you are currently using automations to manage your daily heating or AC schedule, you are probably making life harder than it needs to be. Climate Scheduler gives you clarity, control and the schedule you can actually understand at a glance. And as always, if you do end up using this integration, Please go to GitHub repository and give it a star to say thanks to the author for such an awesome integration and card combo. But also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also hit the like button if you did like this video. Thanks to everybody supporting the channel, especially my YouTube channel members. 
if you too want to support the channel, you can become a member for just 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or you can grab something from my merchandise store. Last but not least, you can always send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and Merry Christmas.